So one thing that you might not know is that you can change the preferences in every code editor. So on a Mac, I'm going to go up to the program menu and choose preferences. If you're on a PC, it's usually going to be like in the edit menu and then you go down to preferences. But go to your preferences for whatever program you're using. Dreamweaver makes it easier. It has kind of a better interface than brackets for changing your preferences. Um, if I go to preferences for brackets, it literally brings up code. So I have to use code to change the preferences before I've ever learned code. So that's why I don't really, I don't really like that about bra uh, brackets. If you're in Dreamweaver, it just looks like a normal dialog window that you get a bunch of um, options. So if you're on Sublime or any of those things, find your preferences and look through them and see what things you change. Usually I don't change anything except for the font size. If you're in brackets right now and you're, and you're watching this, you probably have like the tiniest font size known to man. And so that gets on my nerves. So what I do is come over here. It should have opened this brackets.json page. And then we're going to go ahead and change that. So I changed mine to 22. It helps um, for the tutorial videos. You can change it to whatever size you want. Um, and it also like says like gutter marks. If you don't want it to be true, if you don't want to see the gutter marks, you can change false. Don't change that though, but just so you know. So this doesn't actually like come into effect until you save it. So click in here and then do file save. I haven't changed anything. So well, if I change it to like 24, um, then I can go up here and you can see, um, well, I don't know if that's good, but I can just go ahead and hit save and see how it went to 24. So now I can go back to 22 and then do file save. Okay. So it's showing the left side and the right side. So this is the left, this is the right. So it's showing right is the brackets file that I just coded. And then over here is the default preferences. So has all these other like preferences I could have messed with, but my God, don't mess with that. Just change the font size. So <clears throat> if you're using a different code editor, you're probably luckier and have an easier way of doing that, but there you go. So if you don't like this left to right view, eventually you will, because you, what you want to do is see the code over here and see like what it would look like in a browser over here. Um, but for right now, I'm going to go back to view and choose no split. So just know that again, most editors have these split views. So pay attention to the view menu or wherever your view settings are and see what those are. Uh, well, see, look, you could have just increased and decreased the font size right there. You didn't have to change the code, but I've actually changed the preferences so that it's going to change them for every file I create. So it's a little bit more permanent, but there you go. So you can also choose, like I can highlight the active line. So it'll show like if I had lines down here, you can see that the highlight is following it. So I like that one too. So just go through some of your, your, um, your view options. And what I would do is like take a screenshot or a picture with your phone so that you know what had a check mark and what didn't have a check mark before you start messing with stuff. So that if for some reason you need to go back to the default settings, you can either change it based on that picture or hopefully there's some kind of like default button that you can change it. So um, just go through there and I highly recommend at least changing your font size.